That was a good one. <laughs> oh, what? That was amazing. Right? That was that that right there is oh. top five fan interaction of all time. This one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there we man. go. No, no, I'm fine. I don't mind being created from the Marvel Clippers. Bye. I got to go. See like, ya. I'm good. Miss scouting yeah. reports. Mavs down it. two in overtime. And Boban gets the play call. Nearly buries the game winner. Paul. Oh. Should, yeah. Oh my God! I don't Love want it. You, hey, I don't want you taking that during regular season, Paul. What don't you want in a preseason game, Paul? What don't you want from a game in a preseason uh, game? You can do oh, anything in preseason. You just don't want you an don't overtime. Want no, no, overtime. No overtime. It's already overtime. No, so this you don't want any more. Overtime. You don't want any more overtime. There let's is have, nobody who wants. Let's have Boban shoot a three. That's all we're gonna oh. get. Let's get the hell out of here. People say free basketball during the preseason, and you're like, no, it's costing me minutes of my life. Yeah. There you go. They don't want this. Shoot a three and let's go home. Make flair. Hornets magic. First, Lamelo hitting the three. Hey, let me tell you something. Melo gonna be nice. Mm -hmm. Hey, I already think he's better than his brother. I right think you gotta say Lamelo right now. while Carmelo is still in the league. I don't think we can. Oh, yeah, his name is Lamelo. I mean, he got now. Flair. Woo! Right? So, look at this one. He looked like J Kid with his passes. I'm telling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they said down in the Australian league. Oh, look at he this. Just this. Up with that. He's got. Uh, he's got something. Like, they to thought him. his brother was J Kid. No, this is J Kid right here. This, that this right, that pass is. right there, yeah, yeah that pass. One hand, right? oh man, yeah. That'd be good. See, ooh. we said Lamelo is already our ooh. league pass star for ooh. the whole season. Oh. We already know. Okay, you he's got to keep. That's I, my rookie of the year right there. Mm, in already? Charlotte? Oh, yeah, yeah. In Charlotte, of course. Yeah. Miss recognition, Luca hanging out on the sideline. We've seen this before. Paul tries to give someone a fist bump. Hey, you got to extend your arm out a little more, dude. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to give it and put it in a visual. Yeah. Not even look hey, right. I know you've been in America for a short while, but there's a certain type of way you have to adapt. You know, yeah, you, gotta, like, you, this is, this you is, are guilty of this too, Paul. Look at this. I'm looking at the crowd. I'm like, hey, I'm He's I'm in the crowd. I'm I didn't say member of the up. crowd. He's looking at the crowd, yeah, though. Come on, man. Trying I'm to get his followers the crowd. out. Like, By the way, yeah. no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Jerry, long timer in DC. That's my man, Jerry, too. I hey. was going to say. That's my man. I, mean, I just was, didn't see We love Jerry. Everyone in DC loves If you've never had to dap up yourself, then you're not you're not in the right environment. Sometimes people just miss you. There's a lot going on. Oh, man. I was caught in a moment. I just hit a game winner to put us up, and I was just trolling the crowd, right? They call game. They call game. He called call game. game. The man <laughs> called game. All right. The NBA's annual GM survey, survey is out. It's got some spice to it this year, guys. 81% of the GMs picked the Lakers <laughs> to win the title again, which is not an unusual pick. But it's interesting that only the 2018 and 2019 Warriors had more consensus than that. It is a window into how dominant other teams consider the Lakers right now. The GMs also pick Giannis to be the MVP, which trends against, actually, what most media surveys have said. James Harden beat out ooh, LeBron for, ooh. quote, player who forces opposing coaches to make the most adjustments. Chris Paul won out over Drew Holiday as the player switching teams who would have the biggest impact. And Miami's Eric Spolstra named the NBA's best coach over Greg Popovich and yeah. Nick Nurse. And then this is interesting. The GMs still consider Steph Curry the best point guard in the NBA, but by a lot less. He only got 30% of the vote this year compared to 90% of the vote the year before. Damian Lillard finished second to him this year. Paul, if you had to pick one guy, you cannot hedge here. You have to vote. For one Origi guy like the GMs did, who were you picking? Originally, I said Luka Dockage, but if LeBron's the best player and he played point guard, how is he not the best point guard in the league? <laughs> he led the league in assists. I mean, Won the final I, I forgot LeBron just went to point guard, by the way, and he's clearly the best point guard in the league. It's, it's it, Okay, this survey is skewed here. Let me just first say this. What do you mean skewed? It's skewed is in the sense of like, you just can't just add the best player in the game, the finals MVP <laughs> that led the league in assists, like, and then say he's 11%. So, like, are they considering him a real point guard? Or they're they, just saying, I mean, that, 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 that doesn't even make sense. He was available in the so point guard spot for the All-Star game so, and All-NBA this year. But, but, so but if he's, he's the guard. best player on this list, but they're talking about when he plays, I, this is he's stupid. The fifth point, this is stupid. Point guard. This is dumb. Hey, this is like the year Bill Russell won MVP and wasn't even in the first team in All-NBA. Oh, yeah, that's the type of still like, wait. I mean, this, this is not a LeBron James, like, this is not, we're not, like, talking about that. We're just like, it doesn't make sense. I, right? I get it. And, like, Steph Curry, 
and I said it on the broadcast, like Steph Curry has to reclaim his title as the best point guard. Like when LeBron James got hurt and Warriors, Kawhi. You just want Warriors fans. No, fans. they hate me anyway, so who gives a damn? But this is what I'm saying. When Bron got hurt and Kawhi won the championship and won the finals MVP, they were like, Kawhi is the best player on the planet. Giannis just won the MVP. Giannis, Bron is probably the third or fourth. You have to show up every single year. Now, he might be the greatest shooter ever, right? Like he will go down as that, but you have to reclaim your title yeah. every single year. Yeah. And Dame Lillard did some things last year from that point guard spot. This is this is just like boxing. When you don't fight for a year, you get stripped of your title, and yeah, you gotta go back and fight you. for it again. Thank you. It's the same difference. Now we know how amazing Steph Ooh. Curry is, Dame Lillard. They're amazing, but you gotta reclaim that. Dame Lillard has some phenomenal, some phenomenal games. But if LeBron is a point guard. He, he has to be the best point well, guard. Yeah, in the let the league and assist. Oh, whatever. I, who cares? DM survey. Always fun. Up next, we take an in depth look at investigating allegations made against LA Clippers team and consultant Jerry West involving the free agency recruitment of Kawhi Leonard in 2019. Johnny Wilkes, a man who claims to be best friends with Kawhi's uncle Dennis Robertson. Not anymore. <laughs> filed a lawsuit in L.A. County Superior Court against West and the Clippers, alleging that the team consultant owes him $2.5 million in an oral agreement made for helping the Clippers sign Kawhi Leonard. The Clippers issued the following statement, quote, the lawsuit filed by Johnny Wilkes is replete with inaccuracies and the allegations are baseless. The Clippers fully cooperating with the NBA in its investigation, which is standard when these types of allegations are made. They are providing the NBA with evidence that the allegations are false. And Kawhi Leonard himself had this to say after last night's game. How well do you know Johnny Wilkes, and did he play any role in your recruitment to this team, your decision to join this team in 2019? Not at all. Um, that has nothing to do with me. You know, I'm from L.A., uh, and, uh, you know, I grew up here my whole life, and out here, you know, people try to, you know, find any way to, to get some money, so it probably won't be the last. I know a lot of people out here. <clears throat> Richard, this is not college recruiting, right? I mean, we don't usually see runners in the NBA, which is basically what this guy is alleging he was. It's weird because you want to say, okay, was this introduction done during the Toronto, when he was in Toronto, before free agency? That would be the only thing. Like, hey, I'm going to connect you. I'm going to do all of these things. But if it wasn't done during that like time period, there's nothing illegal here. This is professional sports. This is why it's done this way. No one if cares. Have, and first of all, this is an got, LA guy. Tell him. He don't got nothing know? signed from Jerry West. <laughs> like, look, hey, if I get you Kawhi 2.5, then this doesn't have any. This, this, this is. Yeah. This sounds like an AAU uh, uh, deal. Yeah. You know, like if you want my son 2. or, my, or my nephew to come play with you, then it costs this money. That goes on an AAU. I, I know firsthand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Producer Danny literally just said in Richard's IFB, Richard, how much did you get? I, I, I got zero. I wasn't that good. See, like Paul, Paul was like number one player coming out as a sophomore and as a you know junior. And as a, he was top you know ten I, you everywhere. Know what I got coming. I got a suit jacket. Yeah, Just yeah. because that was the dress uniform with a clip on tie. Yeah, so that's I could, it. So, I could, so, I could, so I, that's what I got. Yeah, Arizona, I didn't get anything. Here's what I would say from an outsider. I obviously was not on the phone with Jerry West or any of these people. I do not know what happened. I will look forward to the results of the investigation. But from an outsider's perspective, if they knew they could, quote, get Kawhi for two and a half million dollars, they would, have paid they would that. not have given up all of those draft picks for Paul George. Yeah. Right. Think about the price that they paid for Kawhi Leonard. We know the price they paid for Kawhi Leonard. It was a trade deal to the Oklahoma City Thunder that gave them their best young player and picks for the rest of eternity. Man. If all that they were going to get was, oh, this guy will get him for you. Man, that, that would have been yeah. getting off late. And then, and then they have that, that uh, the voicemail uh, as like evidence of Jerry West. And it's like, I listened to it. There's nothing there. It's saying, hey, thank you. Like, we appreciate it. And, you know, he might have said a comment about the Lakers, which was true at the time, right? I'm not going to repeat, you know, the, the show that he was saying that the Lakers were, which was true. But there was nothing in that voicemail. So it's like, here's evidence of, like, him calling me and saying thank you. That's not evidence of $2.5 million. And so, you know, maybe there's more out there. I'm Let me ask you. So let's just say there's some legs to this. And, you know, he, he's right on what he's saying. What? Okay, the NBA investigates. Okay, so what happens now? Kawhi, the trade is null and void? No, no, no. Like, what? But, no, no. What, mean, they, what they do it, is... They remember, find you? Remember Joe Smith? You get remember, a huge Remember fine? Joe Smith? 
Well, where he had that uh, kind of under the table contract no, right, and right. fires agent, they could penalize him, take draft away picks. draft picks, yeah. right. take away all that okay. stuff. So that's that's the penalty. Now that was hard for Minnesota because Minnesota with KG and all them, they didn't, they weren't a free agent destination, so they really had to do it right. via draft picks. The Clippers, if they were to lose a couple of draft picks, and it would probably be after the draft picks that they were supposed that that the o OKC got, so it really put them back like five or six years with draft picks, which could be detrimental. It is funny to see this phone call paraded around because it doesn't.